Hi all, I made a new uh, laser module. As you can see, it's 20% smaller in the length and uh, width direction, uh, or yeah, it's, it's much smaller and it's also less thick. So, so that, is, that, is quite, uh, that is quite nice, it's uh, less thick. And if you look on the front, you can see I, um, I had an optical window which filters out stray light. And on the back, uh, the cabling uh, has been changed. So this is the power cable and this is the connector, flat X connector to the motor board. So the electronics changed as well. I increased the modularity. So in the earlier version, the motor board and the main board was one complete board. I didn't like it. I actually uh, want people to be able to use the main board for also other applications. Okay, let's have a look at the inside. So this is how the new laser module looks. As you see, the laser is housed in a different housing. There are no longer springs, so this you could adapt via springs, but this using the digital twin should be in the right position. I still have to test if that really works in reality as well. The photodiode board is moved from direction, so it's moved to a different direction, to the opposite side. That allows me to compress the box a bit further. You see that the connector to the photodiode board has been replaced with a flatex cable. That used to be wires, so that, that's changed as well. And I removed the cylinder lenses, so these will not be present in the module I intend to uh, sell. On the board you see that you can also hook another photodiode. That is for people who want to experiment with laser microscopes or if I want to do an experiment like that. I've not tested that. Uh, this is the connector to the uh, motor board. I didn't do a very good soldering job there, but it, it works. What is a um, challenge in the new board is that I use a different uh, motor. Uh, these, these motors, you can no longer buy them or I have a problem finding a reseller for that. And that's why I have to change the, uh, the motor board. But this uses a different chip, so I still have to optimize that actually. To finish it off, let's show you the design in FreeCAD. So here all the modules are drawn in. Um, you can see that I hit the photodiode in the center. And as discussed, the, so the photodiode board has moved. Uh, a slate has been added. Here you can see the focus point. And here you can see that there are two photodiode connectors. The cables are not drawn in as this is not possible at the moment with the